New personnel data entry in progress. Facial recognition for Stargazer successful. Welcome aboard the V-710. Not only did she go inside the Tide of Ashes all by herself, she also got you out too? That's incredible. It's almost impossible to tell where you're going inside the Tide of Ashes. How did you do it? Oh yeah, did you see an Apostle of Ashes? If you saw one, can you tell me about... Mm, You ask so many questions. Where shall I start? Huh? Uh. Look at how bashful Kawakawa has become. He's even at a loss for words. I'm not. Your name is Kawakawa, right? It's true that it's impossible to pinpoint directions in the Tide of Ashes. However, there are countless air currents, and one can leave by simply following the direction of the currents. But there's a lot of turbulence in the Tide of Ashes. Even if you follow the currents, there's a high chance of getting caught in the turbulence. Once caught in the turbulence, it is theoretically impossible to get out alive. Yes, this relies on the experience of the pilot. However, there is another foolproof way, and that is to use an ash crystal. It can drive away sandworms and pierce through ashes, for it is a creation born from the tide of ashes and the infallible treasure of the Desert Bandits. I understand now! No wonder the people of Dis City tell me they cannot explore other routes, because Dis City's Ash Crystal died! Once an Ash Crystal dies, it becomes useless. You cannot use it to deal with the Desert Bandits. Unless you find a way to reactivate it. I just heard. You want to give the ash crystal to some unknown woman? I will never allow this under my watch. At first, I turned a blind eye to the fact that you invited someone who is not part of the mission to participate without permission. Now it seems that the Outland Affairs Bureau will have to reassess the security clearance of this individual. B-710, I order you to immediately read. Warning, warning. The V-710 is under attack by an unidentified source. Temporary defense mode has been activated. Hypercube force field is in effect. What's happening? The desert bandits haven't given up. 
They seem to have used the Ash Crystal to command the Sandworms to attack the shelter again. Damn it! We defeated the Desert Bandits, but why are these Sandworms still around? With your level of power, it is impossible to defeat the Sandworms, let alone ones controlled by an Ash Crystal. The only way to tame them is to go along with their nature. Easy for you to say. What do we do now? The battle back there tired out the sandworms. Now, they need to soothe their spirits. stopped attacking. Wow, it really worked! Chief is right. The Stargazer is really good at dealing with crises in White Sands. If the Chief insists, I think it's okay for her to try to reactivate the Ash Crystal. It's a dead crystal anyway. We can't possibly damage it further, so why not give it a shot? Instead of letting it rot away in the vault, we should take the gamble. I also support letting the Stargazer try. If that annoying old man starts blabbing again, we'll just cut the comms! No need to cut the comms. We'll just ignore him. To achieve something grand, one must be repeatedly tested. When old crises are resolved, new ones shall come. Desert bandits who had fled are now back again! So, my underlings failed to finish you off. You want to face me again, hey? <laughs> You can escape from the Tide of Ashes once, but can you do it a second or third time? What the heck is that old fart murmuring about? He's not calling the Sandworms back again, is he? It sounds like he wants us to enter the Tide of Ashes again. It's some magic lamp that we'd go in and out of whenever he wants. Ah! 